Hi and welcome to this review about Ubuntu 20.04. This is one of the earliest version of this operation system. So many things are look like the previous version of Ubuntu. A good starting point is to try the live session, because if that work, the system is quite stable. And this is a test which actually have failed for 19.10 when I try it. So the new version seem to be more stable than the previous, which are good. When it comes to the look, this is exactly 19.10's look. So they are still very close to the previous version of Ubuntu. So if you have problem with trying Ubuntu, that could be, for example, that you have a too old version of VirtualBox. This is a quite old version now, but uh, running 18.04 as a host system for VirtualBox. There is little settings you can change. If you need to change the resolution, you go down here to Devices, and here you can change it. If you need another keyboard than English, you change it under here. And the screen saver under power. And we don't need a screen saver. All right, the same setup as usual. They seem to keep this. And they have the standard program here. Nothing new. So let us try an installation and see what we can do there because there is some new feature under installation Hit space. This is a trick you can do. I want an English version now. And I want a Swedish keyboard. If you have a graphical problem, for example, here is a more simple and stable variant of installation and trying Ubuntu. So this is an alternative if you have a problem. So here is the new thing. LVM and encryption as usual, but down here. An experimental file system. Said file system. So don't use this for important production system without a proper backup. 
So why are now computer nerd so interested in said file system? Said file system marry together logic volume management, LVM, RAID, encrypted container, and it also a file system itself. That give plenty of new functionality. And yes, it have error correction too. And now people say, yes, exit 4 have error correction if you have the right version of the kernel. True. But RAID container, logic volume container, and encrypted container is just a bunch of zero and one. They are don't aware about what are actually lying there. Because said file system is a file system too, not just a container and redundancy. So if you run set file system with redundancy and have a hard drive failure, the set file system can repair itself. If there is enough free space and you have enough hard drive left. That is something RAID don't can do if you don't have a spare hard drive. This is the reason why you can find clip on YouTube, for example, that they smash one hard drive after another, after another. They let the said file system recover from the hard drive failure. And because they have enough space, the system repair itself. So the available space inside the said file system container are shrinking and shrinking and shrinking until there is not enough space left or you don't have enough physical hard drive. This is one of the new thing. Another thing, you have error correction on multiple level. So said file system can discover bit correction, non-recoverable reading error from physical hard drive. They can discover it, they can fix it. So bit corruption should not occur if you're running said file system. So they are suitable for long time storage of data. So what can you now expect out of this very interesting file system in Ubuntu? Quite little. They have just implemented one functionality, the LVM functionality, striping. So no redundancy, but they have now started to experimenting with bootable said file system. And that is something new. So if you want the full functionality of said file system, you need to do as the server guy do. Boot up your system from RAID disk, for example, RAID 1 mirroring. Mount slash home as a said file system. With, for example, redundancy similar to RAID 5 or 6. But that solution, of course, use more hard drive, which are more expensive. But if you want to try it out, this is something you can test. And it's looking promising, and I hope they actually implemented said file system in Ubuntu properly, because this solved a lot of problem you have, especially with very big hard drive. For example, rebuilding after hard drive failure and the problem around unrecoverable reading error and bit corruption for long time storage data. All right, enough about said file system. A promising experimental, I hope it fall out well and they've implemented all the functionality. The rest of installation are exactly as the same as it have been for the last 10 years. Nothing new there.
One big drawback with the beta version is that there is a lot of updates all the time, even if you download updates during installation. So simply start to install what you need. After restart, I should show a machine which running said file system and what is specific about that type of installation. Here we have the machine running said file system. The first partition is this VFAT partition mounted as boot EFI. And here an error pool partition which contain swap. Here a B pole partition which are not mounted, but this must be mounted because that are well probably the root partition. No, it's not mounted either. So we should be little more confused with taking a look on file system table or FS table. We have free entering slash boot EFI boot grub and this for swap. So where are now the root partition? Because it is not mounted or it is mounted. Yes, if we take a look on this row. Yes. The root partition is mounted, it is a said file system, but said file system use its own mounting system, so they don't show up in FS tab, and they don't show up in this program, at least not yet, they have not probably configured this program to handle the new file system. So when you're dealing with said file system you need to learn how to manipulate partition and mount point again because they are completely different from what you have learned before. So that are the most confusing part of this type of file system. We now move on to the encrypted machine and take a look there. Here we have the encrypted machine. This is the boot partition which contain slash boot and extended partition Inside the extended partition we have an encrypted container for encryption and inside the encrypted partition we have a physical volume for LVM which are collected into a volume group and out of this volume group they are create two logic volume one containing the root system and another containing the swap system. And we can show this in this program too here. And that are of course mounted as slash root and this is not mounted. It is the swap partition. So nothing new here. This will work in the exact same way as we have done for the last 10 years. There is a lot of program in Ubuntu as usual, but if we should have a short summary, we can say that most of the new Ubuntu are more or less exactly as the same as previous. The really new thing is this with said file system. In other case, you can expect more or less the same as you have expected for 
18.4 and 16.4. I should now start exploring this operation system. So thank you for your time and have a nice day. Simetrans is an open source transport simulator game. You can transport cargo, passenger and mail on land, sea and in the air. Thank you for your time.